Hey world of YouTube, it is Celine here and today I am back with a brand new video and today's video is about beauty because I've not done a beauty video in a while and a couple of you guys commented on my latest video saying you guys were kind of annoyed because I wasn't doing them and I just wanted to address something really quickly. I personally love makeup videos, I love beauty videos, that's just something I love to do but I also love to make videos just giving advice and inspirational things to help you guys be motivated a little bit more to do things that you want to do and just help you guys out in that way. So although I do enjoy making beauty videos, I also will be doing videos like I have been lately. Some random ones and just some ones that I feel like ranting about. And if you could please just support my decision on that, I would really be happy because I don't want to make my channel into something I don't want to do. So I'm still doing beauty videos, I'm not canceling them out, I'm still doing Doing them, it's just don't be surprised if you see a random video every once in a while. So for most of March, I have not been wearing eyeliner except for this past week I started experimenting with it because I'm going to New York City eye mats and I'm probably wearing eyeliner there so I was like I probably should not forget how to apply it so um, I just wasn't wearing eyeliner for a while and I was wearing a really light eyeshadow and this is the NARS eyeshadow in Fathom or Fathom. This was my first singular high-end product. So I've had this for a couple years, but it, it's really pretty. It's a nice pink shimmery color. It has a nice little mirror so you can see up close what your makeup looks like. And when you do a little swatch, it comes off really pink. Like, not really pink, just really shimmery. Like, it looks really light pink on camera, but when you swatch it, it's basically just a little bit of shimmer, but it's not even anything that is too over the top. And I was really annoyed because I've been using my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Black Eyeliner for a year because I got my first one at New York City Eye Mats of April of last year and it just ran out in the beginning of March. So just my luck that it would run out right before a big makeup event because I'm going to New York City Eye Mats if you do not know. Um, comment down below if you're going or if I'm going to see you guys there because I'm really excited to go and meet some of you guys because that would be awesome. But anyways, I ran out of it and I really did not want to go out and buy another one when I know when I know that I'm gonna get a discounted one at IMATS so I just got a drugstore one and this is the Maybelline Master Precise Eye Master Precise not Precise Master Precise Eye Studio Black Liner looks really similar to the Stila one however the difference is uh, it smudges really easily so if I'm, I'm gonna let this dry for a couple of seconds but you touch your eye during the day, you're gonna see black eyeliner on your finger. But the steel one doesn't do that, but however, I've been wearing this for black liner, so if you guys were wondering, I thought I'd put it in this video. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it did smudge. It's in manual focus right now, so you guys probably won't see this, but it did smudge, and it is noticeable on your eyes. So I would suggest not touching your eyes if you are wearing this and this is not a waterproof eyeliner so just to say that like don't go swimming in this otherwise you will magically transform into a raccoon within a matter of seconds if I only could wear one makeup product for the rest of my life, it would be mascara. And lately I've been hooked on the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. This is the regular one, not the waterproof one because that takes forever to get off. So I have this one, it looks like this. I'm wearing it on my eyelashes right now as well as the Benefit Bad Gal Lash, but I'm mostly wearing this for that matter. It just makes your eyelashes look nice, nice and long and it's just a mascara. However, I've been using this all of March and also February, so I thought I'd put it in here because it makes sense too. Next is a product that I got when I was in Germany although they do sell it here they do sell it. it's pretty popular here and it's the Kors natural mandarin lip butter in rose it looks like this and it has SPF 15 in it uh, it's I really like this because one it's all natural and two the color is beautiful it looks really dark but it does come off pigmented but it's not as pigmented as you may think because it is a lip balm. However, it's all natural products, all eco-friendly. That's why I really enjoy using it because I feel like because I know that no animals were harmed in the making of this product. Next is a blush and I'm wearing it today. This is my favorite blush at the moment. It's the MAC Blush in Dainty. I was gonna get well dressed, however, I am more tan. I'm not fair skinned at all, but this is just a nice shimmery pink color. Looks like this. Color payoff is really nice also. Um, if you guys can see that, it's a very nice light pink color. Love wearing it, it's on my cheeks right now, so if you guys can see that, then I'm wearing it. I probably wore off by now though, because I didn't um, use a primer or I didn't use a setting spray, but it's a really nice color. I would suggest it if you're looking for a nice MAC um, blush and you have my 
skin type, skin color, <laughs> skin type, skin color. Last for makeup is a foundation, and this is the Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. You guys have seen me wear this in my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, and I really like it. I'm wearing it today. It's very, very natural. That's why I like it so much. I don't like foundations that it's visible that you're wearing foundation. I blend this to a point that it's not even visible. However, it does give me the light coverage that I need. Really nice product, and I like it because it has a pump. So that's really, really handy for me. So and I'm gonna talk about one food favorite for a second because um, I just tried this actually yesterday and I'm in love and I have three of these waiting for me. And it's the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Chocolate Bar. If you have not tried this, I would suggest spending the dollar or two that it is at your local drugstore and trying one because they're really good. Okay, and for music, I decided to do that because I've been listening to a lot of music lately. I mean, I always do, but I've been listening to different music lately, and one man, or you guys probably can see in the background of this video, is Michael Bublé. I have been in love with him because I kind of describe him as Frank Sinatra meets Today voice. Like, that's the voice he has. He's basically a jazz singer, he, uh, I, I really like him, okay? He's a very nice singer. He has a very smooth, jazzy voice that I love. I like swing music, so this he really just fits into my taste in music. I like jazz, but I also like pop music and alternative music, so I've been listening to the iTunes Top 50 alternative music, and it's just all of the songs that are pretty much I enjoy listening to besides like the occasional few that I just don't like. I've been listening to One Republic a lot lately, especially their newest album. I have been really liking the songs If I Lose Myself, That's What You Wanted, um, mm, Light It Up, and I've also been liking Hunter Hayes a lot. He's I, this is so weird because you guys probably listening to me like Celine you just talked about how much you love jazz and then talked about alternative pop and then now you're talking about country Where is your head at? Hayes, I've been liking his latest album and his new album is coming out on my birthday May 6th So I think that's a sign that we're kind of meant for each other But Shatter Me by Tahera Mafi I think is the author's name Really good except my only complaint about it if I'm going to be talking about it is I feel like she got really lazy at the end and you, the reader can just see it because she stopped crossing things out, she turned it into a complete different setting, she just changed it. Like the way she wrote in the beginning of the book was way different than the last hundred pages so I felt like I kind of had to push myself to finish the book because I just wasn't enjoying it as much as I did in the beginning but if you read the beginning of the book, her her vo the way she writes is so different. She makes words do so much more than what you think they could do in a book. Her writing style is similar to a poet's, except she makes it more as a dialogue, so it all works out. At least she does that in the beginning, like halfway up, up until the halfway mark of the novel she does that for. But other than that, she just kind of gives up, goes YOLO, whatever, I'm giving up. At least that's what I felt like she did. And that is pretty much this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you or too short for you. I don't know how long you guys like my videos to be. But anyways, comment down below if you guys are going to New York City IMAX because I will be there on the Saturday. So hopefully I get to meet some of you guys because that would be awesome. I've met a few guys in the past and you guys were all so sweet. So I really want to keep meeting you guys. And anyways, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.